I've known Bobby for quite yeah. a while. He is the nicest person <laughs> and he's funny. He really loves, uh. he loves to laugh and make people laugh and uh. just very friendly. He makes me laugh, sweetheart. He really is. He's funny, he makes us laugh. We always have a good time when Bobby's here. He likes to fish, he rides his bike, he likes, loves to go camping. Mm -hmm. This is Fred Rouse. He works with, with Bobby on Mondays. <sighs> and they're always back here sorting and they, they pick on each other. Bobby is a great um, asset to our store. I've known Bobby actually for probably 20, 25 years. I know Bobby's family and he lived with his brother for several years and now he's in a community assist home with um, Kat and John. Bobby is very lucky to have found the family that he found. Kat and John do great things with Bobby. We enjoy Bobby. And we got Bobby about almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. He's classified as our individual, but we're classified as a, his um, providers. providers. So mm -hmm. he's more than an individual in our home. He's our family. He's our family now, yeah. Our, our whole family loves him. It's my calling. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I don't know. We just took him in and we had some issues in the uh. beginning where he's had a lot of background uh -huh. stuff, but after that, the last couple uh, years, he's seemed to fit in better. Uh -huh. and he seems to like where he's at now. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> He'll pretend he's going to take you to jail. We call him Sheriff Bob. Uh -huh. Show him how you take me to jail, Bob. Oh, no. <laughs> Go into jail. Uh -huh. I, guess, I guess when he goes camp, he talks about camping a lot. And... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you go camping and at the campground, they tell us that he told us that he's the sheriff of the campground. I believe they got him a shirt that says Sheriff Bob on it. We started camping, what, last year? Uh, two, years, two years ago. Two years ago, we started out with a tent, right, Bobby? Yeah. And we were camping in a tent. And then uh, a couple months after that, we bought a pop-up camper. We had that for a we year. We had that for a year, and then we bought a full-size camper. So now we camp at Hornbrook, uh, and we're by the river. Bobby likes to go fishing. We have a seasonal spot. We have a seasonal spot. We sit by the campfire. We visit with all our camping friends. We At the campgrounds, everybody uh, watches out for them. They all love them. They're uh, all really good with them. Uh, He's got a license plate on his bike that says Sheriff, right? <laughs> And that started last year. The little kids were riding around on their bikes really fast around the loop. And so he went on his bike and he told him he was arresting them because they were going too fast. So one of the <laughs> other girls gave him paper and he wrote the kids tickets. So this year my daughter made him a hat or a shirt that said the camp cop. Camp cop. And at Christmas he got a police hat and he got a another sheriff's badge and he's got sirens for his bike and he's uh. got tickets so he's all ready to give tickets he loves the rodeos oh yeah he loves we the go rodeo. to reese ranch uh -huh. rodeo in corning several times uh -huh. through the summer when we first got bobby we took him he really liked it so we continued on and what do you like about the rodeo uh. the bull riding uh. right yeah do you want to ride a bull He's very outgoing. He like he's very sociable. He likes to be around people, and he likes to do a lot of things that include people. And he's very outgoing. He can communicate. What's what's your how do you say job? Ooh, that's work. That's work. Mm -hmm. um, hand movements, and a lot of times we'll know what he's talking about. Or he'll point at the calendar and tell us, yeah. you know, this day he's going camping. We'll know that what that means and. A lot of times he'll um, tell us about fishing and he'll do like a fishing pole and reel it in and sometimes he gets frustrated. It takes us sometimes to place your raids to figure out what he's trying to say, but we, we usually, usually figure, figure it. Out. He just 
enjoys working. He loves working. That's all he uh -huh. talks about is going to work. Mm -hmm. what, what, why do you like working? <laughs> Money. He works with me on Mondays. And every Monday we sort clothing for one of the processors. And on Wednesdays and Thursdays, he works with Dan. And they, hey. yep, you pull the clothing, don't you? <laughs> He comes home and tells us what he did, mm -hmm. like two racks, three racks, or a pack, or what he'll do, like the bins, and mm -hmm. he'll tell us what he did for the day. Yeah, he'll get in the car and I'll say, how many racks do you do today? And he puts his three fingers up. Or how, I what? says, does Dan work you hard? He says, yeah. <laughs> Our store wouldn't run properly without the mission staff. They do so much. They are a part of our team. We don't separate the mission staff from our staff in our store. We are one big team working to uh, do the best we can for our store here. So our mission staff is just a part of our great team. He's always happy when he comes in, greets everybody. When he's out in the store, the customers mm -hmm. that come in, he'll say hi to them and everybody seems to know him and everybody loves him because he's so friendly. We're in Walmart, someone knows. Anywhere we go, we run into somebody, they know Bobby. Yep. Every store we've been in, somebody knows him, right, Bobby?